You may remember a couple of months ago that Raymond and I did our first Camp Astro. Or you might be thinking, what's Camp Astro? <laughs> well, we have decided that each month on or around the new moon, we will do at least one overnight out in remote places and work on our astrophotography game, at least every time we can. If you are new to astrophotography, you might be asking, wait a minute, what's, what's a new moon? <laughs> well, it's the opposite of a full moon. It's the one night per lunar cycle that the moon is completely dark and it is superb for astrophotography. Really quickly, before I jump into the second session of Camp Astro, I want to mention that this week's edition of Member Monday is now live. So you members take a peek. I discuss a lot of stuff, including some things that I am close to releasing, especially for you members. So you members know how to see Member Monday, but there is a link below to it as well. Also, it is my members that allow me to do this channel as a full-time job. So if you are interested in supporting that, there is a link below to channel membership as well. Okay, let's start with a quick recap of Camp Astro 1. We took knowledge gained from our times with Dr. Jose Francisco Salgado and the always exciting Stan Moniz. And we applied that knowledge to our work with the night sky and then improvised a little bit, seeing what unique effects that we could put together. And there's a link to that video with our results in the description box. But let's talk about Camp Astro 2, which happened in early July. And I know I'm a little late in getting this video out to you all, but I will share some results and talk about why it was a bit more brief than Camp Astro 1. Camp Astro 2 took place just outside the south rim of the Grand Canyon National Park in Kaibab National Forest. One thing that we like about the national forests in Arizona is that within certain guidelines, you can camp where you like. So you can be far away from other people, cars, and campers and artificial light. With everything set and our campsite picked out and set up, there was just one problem, clouds and thunderstorms. And it was a big problem. <laughs> we had our cameras ready and set for astrophotography. Our evening meal was cooked. We did some sunset drone flying and now it was time to get down to business. Except by the time the sun was fully set, the sky was full of clouds no stars whatsoever. We were basically ready to call Camp Astro 2 a no-go. I was so disappointed. So when darkness came, we just, we did the only thing that seemed reasonable and we went to sleep. Except I woke up at midnight in search of a lavator tree, if you know what I mean. And while I was stumbling around with like one eye open, <laughs> I looked up and the clouds had not entirely broken up, but you could see a generous portion of the night sky. And after briefly considering just crawling back into my warm sleeping bag, I woke Raymond up and we were quickly setting up cameras and tripods. Because Camp Astro 2, it was not done yet. It was back from the dead. There were clouds and thunder, but there were plenty of stars emitting their different shades of colors of light and all those amazing cloud formations were appearing and disappearing in the foreground. And there was even lightning. It wasn't what you think of when you think of traditional astrophotography, certainly not what you know you typically see on Instagram. We didn't capture nearly all that we wanted to, but we learned something about astrophotography that, you know, I guess we already knew about all sorts of other things in life. And that is don't give up. If it looks like it's going to be cloudy, maybe drink that extra little bit of water before bed so that you uh, end up getting up and getting outside to see what's going on up in the night sky. We spent a solid three hours capturing the dynamic sky and then we tried to catch a nap, but we were soon over to the national park to witness sunrise and it was wonderful. It gave me some quality time with the Fuji X-H1 with time lapses and still shots and Raymond kept on time lapsing too, but this time instead of the night sky, it was a stellar Grand Canyon sunrise. And by the way, my review of the Fuji X-H1 is coming in the next couple weeks. Now, since then, 
We've also done Camp Astro 3 at the end of July, and I just want to give you a teaser for that. It's coming up in a few days, and it was an example of what can happen when you have good teachers to encourage you and give you the foundations, and you get some experience by experimenting, and then you know your gear in the dark. While I think that Raymond and I still have much to learn and much more to experiment with, Camp Astro 3 was by far our best effort to date. Location helped and, and we went to one of the darkest regions of the country that is also at a very high elevation. I will share the entire video on Friday where I'll discuss specific tips and lessons learned in the past six months or more, really diving into this genre. But I'm so excited about that third chapter that I wanted to spill some of the beans and a few of the images. That leads me to a question. I felt like in Camp Astro 2, we made some lemonade out of lemons. Have you ever been in a photography situation or other scientific or artistic situation where things weren't going your way, but suddenly the tide turned and you were bringing that experience back from some dark places and getting more out of it than you thought you could? Let me know down in the comments what happened and how did things go south? And then how did things start looking up? In our case, it was a combination of luck and staying on site and keeping our equipment at the ready. Let me know how your situation went. I think that sharing our stories, whether or not the stories are glorious successes or making lemonade out of lemons, it helps all of us to Keep on keeping on when we have those not super successful times because they happen to everyone. I get a lot of comments here on YouTube, but I really try to keep an eye on my videos for the first day or so so that I can comment back to you um, as many of you as I can. One of my favorite things about my job is hearing from you all. So comment, let us know how you did it. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell so that you're notified when I share new videos like Camp Astro 3 and that Fuji review. And I have a lot of other cool things coming up. And members, check out this week's Member Monday. Okay, enough of all that. I got to get back to work. <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching.